So once again, we have a game that has these really long, overdrawn intros, um, and I just don't understand why every single game that comes out nowadays has to have at least 40 to 50 seconds of intros before the video. Like, I understand the religious belief stuff that they need to show and that they're showing that it was made with, uh, you know, powered by NVIDIA and stuff like that, but why can't, when I get into the game, after all of this, um, instead of having to wait for all this, just be able to go to the options and in there find a little religious disclaimer or find um, what software, hardware powers this game, that type of thing. Um, it would just make things a lot easier. It would be a lot faster. Um, but lucky for you, I do have the solution to this. I have found out how to remove all the intros except for the NVIDIA Splash, which really isn't a big deal because uh, you can just press A to get there anyway. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today. And I decided to use Notepad to show, um, to explain it, as I realized that there's probably different versions of the game. Uh, there's a Uplay and a Steam and... I don't know, there could be other versions of the game out there, so I'm just going to show it to you through um, Notepad and just explain to you the process. It's really quite simple, it'll only take you about a minute to do it, and once you have that down, um, you'll never have to worry about the intros again. Now, when the update rolls through and you update again, uh, you might have to repeat the steps, but it shouldn't cause any problems with the update coming out. So I'm going to show you how to do that by closing out the game real quick uh, and then showing you with a uh, notepad. So just go to quit the desktop. Okay, so now that we're out of the game, um, I'm inside of notepad, which I've already written up all the instructions for you. And again, um, these instructions may be different for you depending on which version of the game you have. Um, the reason I wrote it the way that I did is in case of you having a, a certain issue that I was reading might be possible. Um, so in any case, what you want to do is navigate to the main video directory of Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, if you're using it on Uplay, it's probably C, Program Files, x86, Ubisoft, Ubisoft Game Launcher, Games, Assassin's Creed Unity, and Videos. Uh, and then I assume... The Steam directory, uh, sorry, the Steam directory is probably C Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Assassin's Creed Unity videos. Although it is possible that the Steam directory might be a Ubisoft folder before Assassin's Creed, or even a Ubisoft game launcher. I'm not sure. I know that Shadow of Mordor showed up as just Shadow of Mordor and not Monolith. Um, so I'm assuming that it should just be Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, you can let me know in the comments. So uh, in any case, once you get there, all you have to do uh, is find these three files. It's PC underscore warning saving dot BK2. Uh, and the warning and uh, for, um, is capitalized and so it's saving. And then warning disclaimer dot BK2, neither of which are capitalized. And finally, Ubisoft logo dot BK2. Now don't search for these files, just go um, looking through the actual folder for them. And if you can't find them, then you may have language folders. If you have language folders such as EN or RU, um, English and Russian respectively, in your video directory, then the PC warning saving.bk2 and warning disclaimer.bk2 is probably found within the language folder. Um, for instance, if you are in the USA, uh, the language is probably English, although it could be Spanish or something else, depending on which version of the game you have um, or how you installed it. In any case, you would open up the English folder if you were English and rename the files there after you back them up. Uh, the easiest way to back them up would be just to copy that language folder and then also find the Ubisoft logo.bk2, which should be in the main directory, and also choose... Um, select that as well so you select the English select the Ubisoft logo dot BK2 and then you just hit copy um, and then you're just gonna go to I would say probably your main directory as I'm not sure if making a, a backup folder inside of the videos would cause any problems at all um, it shouldn't uh, but I would just put it in your main directory create a backup say uh, backup intro videos or something along those lines and then paste those files in there um, once you have backed up the files, the last thing you need to do 
is go to, like I said, either the English folder or if those files are automatically already there, once you've backed them up on your main directory, you just want to rename the files to a BK, BAK instead of BK2 file. And this is essentially the same thing as maybe cutting or deleting them. Um, in that it will fix the issue, but I don't recommend that you delete them in case you need to move them in later on or anything like that. So I recommend you just rename the files, choose BAK. It's going to ask you, do you want to change the file extension? You want to say yes to that. It should not cause any problems at all. Remember that uh, you should always make backups before you do any of this. I can't stress that enough. And finally, my final piece of advice is if you do have a language folder, make sure that you grab the correct language folder or you could screw up the game because let's say you chose the Russian folder one and you moved it out um, instead of the English accidentally. You had um, gone into the folder and grabbed them and didn't realize you were in the Russian folder. Then what could happen is that when you go, if you ever want to replace the intros for whatever reason, they would probably show up as Russian um, because you wouldn't realize that you had actually copied the Russian instead of the English. That's my last piece of advice. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you learned something, of course, please like my video as always. If you didn't learn anything at all, then dislike the video or, or just don't touch the video. It's up to you. You could still like it if you want. I don't really care. Um, and please subscribe and please comment. I love seeing your comments and I really appreciate all of the viewership that I'm getting and all of the wonderful comments. So thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye. You didn't think I would end the video without showing you the final result, did you? So I just pressed A at the NVIDIA logo to automatically skip through it, and as you can see, the game loads practically instantly. So I really hope that this has helped you out, and once again, I really do appreciate your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Thanks so much for watching. I'm really going this time. Bye-bye. <laughs>